Did he have a slow start? Yeah, you know, not necessarily. That's what he, you know, not one of my flex is. Uh, you know, big focus is that's who we play this week, and uh, uh, that's our, our, that's our next opponent. So, uh, you know, early in the week, Tuesday coming in, we know we have a great opportunity after one of the past four games and where we stand at. You know, couldn't, couldn't be no no better game to, to go to, go to New York. The team we're very familiar with, uh, you know, they're on 0 4 and we're 1 3. So, Great opportunity for ourselves, and you know that's all we can do is really get for that. Last two you games. heard the questions to Mike. Uh, uh, you heard those those questions to Mike. Why haven't you had type of week these past two games that you had? I mean, honestly, uh, you know we're, we're going out there and we're doing things you know similar to what we've done earlier in the season. Um, you know, some, some, the first two games of the season had some some great success there. Uh, you know, but. You know, one thing, as you see in this league, um, you know, teams study, teams make adjustments, and uh, you know, that's, that's just a part of, you know, where we're at right now. I think, you know, everybody saw what we've done the first couple of games and, you know, really tried to adjust to it and, and done a great job with it. You know, as, as far as, you know, me being able to go out there and still be productive, and, you know, I feel I'm able to go out there and, and be in the right position and do what I need to do to, you know, help out any way possible. That's that's what my job is. That's what I do. That's what type of, that's what type of receiver I am. So. I mean, I don't, I don't feel the teams are taking me out. I don't, you know, feel like I'm being shut down or none of that. But uh, you know, just as far as the numbers and things really haven't been, you know, the same the past two games. But um, you know, I'm here to go out there, still work, and do what I need to do. And you know, at times it does get frustrating going through games and um, you know not really having a production and not being able to bring to the table what I'm able to bring to the table. But uh, you know, I still have to keep working and do what I need to do. And any opportunity presents itself, so I just have to be ready for it. Mike sure. said other guys need to take take pressure off you a little bit. Uh, do you agree with that? And how can they do that? I mean, honestly, man, um, you know, it's a team sport. It's a team game. Man. You know, we have you know, 10 other players out there on the field that's doing their, you know, jobs and, you know, busting their butt to get open and to make plays and, you know, to block and to run, you know, and, and Vic has a, you know, a big responsibility on him making reads and, you know, him getting the ball out of his hands at the right time and, you know, do what he needs to do in this offense. But, uh, you know, as far as the production that other guys are, you know, producing or putting up, you know, you know it's not really for me to speak for. Uh, you know, I just know everybody's contributed, everybody, you know, needs to just come together and, and just figure it out. Those being one and three, I mean, definitely is disappointing to myself and to the, you know, the rest of the teammates and the rest of the organization. We feel we're a better team. And, um, you know, we have a lot of talent here, but you know, we just got to really put it beside us and not really talk about it, just go out on the field and, and really put up and produce. So, uh, you know, here we are, um, you know, going this week to play a, a you know, division rival game. And, you know, we, we feel pretty good about where we stand still in our division. So that's all we can really look forward to. We, you know, played a couple of AFC teams. It was pretty tough. But, you know, in my eyes, probably should have won. But you can't really look back at it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We've got to move forward and continue to move forward. you being utilized to the best of your ability in the structure of this offense as we see it right now? I mean, uh, you know, honestly, uh, the first couple of games, I guess you could say yes. Uh, the past couple, you know, it's just been some little struggles, uh, you know, regardless of what the play calls are, you know, what positions I'm being put in. But, um, you know, I feel the offense definitely has, you know, the right, um, how can I say it best, uh, has the right plays, has the right, you know, scheme. And, um, you know, it's just really got to get back to, you know, trusting into it and believing into it. Um, you know, I guess we probably paid played two pretty good corners the past couple of games where, in my eyes, I still feel I can get up and do things I need to do to win on them guys. But, uh, you know, just the opportunity wasn't really there as, as much as, you know, it was in the first couple of games. So, you know, I just really hope I can get back to the opportunities and just, um, you know, taking shots downfield, doing what it is we need to do to uh, be able to go out there and beat guys. And, you know, I, don't, I honestly don't feel there's no, you know, one man that can really stop me in this league. And, uh, you know, teams are rolling safeties over and doing things like that. So. You know, it's just things we have to work in in their circle and uh, figure it out. But um, you know, I'm com confident that you know Chip will do a great job, and um, Pat will you know put me in great positions to still be out there and be successful. It seemed like early on they were getting you in different situations in the backfield and bubble screens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, moving you around a lot more. Yeah. Is that what's going to have to happen to get you back in the offense more productive? I mean, that's what we've been doing. We've still been doing that. Uh, you know, like we talked about. Uh, you know, the bubble screens and things like that, teams are really just, you know, sticking three three guys out there and, you know, playing press coverage. So the bubble screen, that's that's kind of how you take that away. So, I mean, but still, you know, you have our ring game is still putting up, you know, big time rush yards and things like that. So it's almost like you pick your poison. Um, you know, I just think as an offense, we just have to do a better job of converting 
um, really not having penalties and you know when we're in the red zone instead of taking three points we have to you know score seven so uh, you know we can help our defense out a lot too and vice versa you know we we help them out they help us out you know all around special teams and all I mean I just feel we we have to be a better you know team we have to play you know good in all three phases of the game so you know we know what it is um, that's why we're here Tuesday working probably while the average team is you know at home relaxing so. We understand what it is, and we understand what we got, you know, uh, in front of us. As a follow-up to that, uh, your first catch the other day came when you moved inside. Is that an area that you can you can do more than you've done recently? Yeah, I, mean, I, I feel very comfortable in the slide, <coughs> in the slide. So, uh, you know, early in the season, it's kind of been the same thing, you know, being in the slot. Um, you know, having mismatched guys as far as linebackers and safety guarding me as well, too. So, you know, whatever it is, like I said, I'm, I can do it. You know, you know I, I don't shy away from going away from the middle, things like that. You could probably say so. Um, whatever, whenever, whenever it's called, and whatever it is I have to do, that's what I'm gonna do for my team. Chip and Pat both said that you, they see more man in press coverage against you. Is that what you've seen as well? And, and also, how do you feel like you've done in those situations? The past five years, that's what I've been praying for. People to play with man. You know, in the past, you know, everybody's been playing zone and doing different things, too high safety. So, you know, now that we have this offense that it is now, and uh, you know, we're getting more man coverage. Uh, uh, that's what I love, man. So I go out there and do my job to get open. And at the same time, it's not only myself, like like Mike said. Um, you know, it has to be all around. I mean, you can't really just put one thing on one person. So you know, it goes into you know blocking the uh, schemes and you know and me just going out there and really getting open. But uh, like I say we'll we'll continue to go out there and do what we need to do. Um, as far as any schemes, any you know teams are doing, I don't think it's. You know, nothing out of the ordinary, just, you know, basic man coverage. And we just have to give ourselves an opportunity where we go out there and, you know, challenge the guys. How would, you describe, how would you describe the comfort level after four games with this system? Uh, we're very comfortable with the system. Uh, you know, we all feel so, so much in the offseason and, you know, working um, to really understand, you know, ins and outs of this offense. And, uh, you know, not only that, but going out there on the field and, you know, putting in the work to, be able to understand where you need to be at certain plays at certain times. So, uh, you know, as a, as a full offense, I think everybody's, you know, got, got the uh, scheme down pat. I think everybody knows where they need to be and timing. And, uh, you know, it's really an up tempo pace. So, I mean, that's where we have to really take advantage of. And, you know, sometimes once the big play is made, we all have to do a better job of getting back into the line of scrimmage and, you know, using our tempo to, you know, what we, what we use it for. And that's to really catch other defenses off guard. So, as long as we're able to keep continue to do that and not get laxed and you know, go out there and still put pressure on defenses, I think that that should work. When teams when teams when teams work to take you out of games, what what are you doing to <coughs> adjust to that? I mean, are you doing anything extra to study the film or is there things that you can do on your own or your own account just to get teams from just taking you uh, out? I mean, uh, you know, a lot of times it's just really hard to, to figure out what the team is gonna do, um, you know, especially watching film and uh, versus the other teams and then, you know, we come into the game they showing us a totally different look. So, uh, you know, we watch a lot of film, ton of film, you know, day in through day night. Day in and through day night. So, uh, you know, it's just one of the things where you just got to be patient. You got to go out there. You can't force things. And, uh, you know, when your time comes, you just have to make the best out of opportunity. So, you know, stay patient. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.